Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Cosmetia. Today's beverage is a quite interesting fennel, cucumber and chamomile infusion. Very nice indeed. So welcome back to Cosmetia. In a previous video we were checking out the title and doing some mining, some fighting, some transport, liberation and building. So a fairly decent and I think representative look at the game and since then I have been playing it a bit more and the one thing that really has taken my interest or piqued my interest is the beam weapon which is shown on the right hand side here but the main reason is you can chain them together with crystals and well truth be told I was going to do a follow-up to that previous video with the same ship that we built and retrofit it with those weapons and well yeah oh no we've lost the bridge that's it the end let's just say there was a combination of over engineering under engineering and well sometimes the game just doesn't <laughs> <laughs> doesn't hold its punches and I think I just yeah, overextended really so let's just go to new game here and we will start up a new one of these to try and make like I said the beamy ship and get as much beam on this thing as we possibly can in the allotted time so we have been placed in the model s here we're gonna hail this ship uh, this space station here and what we're looking at is this thing so we want the ion beam emitter which is shoots a powerful beam of ion energy in a fixed direction damages low at longer range can be shot into a beam prison prison <laughs> beam prism to redirect its angle and there is the prism and you can yes you can chain them together so i'm looking forward to that it will require however a little bit of messing around to get that we need to get a heavy laser blaster and a also beam emitter and well we can't even afford the beam prism so the idea is to instead of trying to do what i did previously which is put them on the sides go to there route them to the center and then up we're just going to put them on one side and then chain them forward so the ship won't be symmetrical. <sighs> that fills me with <laughs> plus 100 generic trepidation units. Anyway, let's pick up some bounties here because, well, we need to get some money. I'll zoom out a bit and we'll head over to this area first. And I hope the crew is prepared for some fighting. We shouldn't have too much of an issue uh, when we first start on this. We've got shields up. We have our two laser blasters prepared. And our target is going to be in visual range in but a moment there it is and it actually looked a lot bigger than <laughs> it looked a lot bigger when it was uh, when it was just a silhouette but yeah it's just a representation of that so we're targeting their standard cannon I'm not really too bothered because well the shield generator is taking all of their shots and there we go they have now lost their one and only weapon so my target now is just to look at the small reactor core I've just realized they have a hyperdrive on this thing as well so they could if they wanted or needed to to uh to sort of spool that drive up and get out of here but I don't think that's going to be the case they're taking considerable damage to the armor panel they've just lost straight away the thruster and lost the rest of their ship so there we go let's go into the middle of all of this we're going to say salvage and let the crew crack on with that one while they are salvaging it we will also go to build and to corridor symmetry on and well we want to build the ship a little bit bigger simply for storage that's all we're going to have on the back of this one. Oh, hang on we've got another target um right in that case we want to bring everybody back to the ship i don't want to be caught with no weapons and the shield generator offline so yeah it is definitely coming towards us so we better do an about face and head towards that target we are we actually are we, uh, I was going to say, are we even needing to shoot this thing? But I don't think we are. But, well, it's got a lot of guns. Good grief, that's got an impressive amount of firepower. But when you consider it's just bouncing off the shield, I'm actually not too bothered about, about it. Um, there you go there. So they've got four weapons down to the last remaining one. And there we go. So we could just leave them alone. But then again, they are red, which means they need to be dead. And let's see what happens here. There's their shield generator taking considerable damage. And again, it is job done. Let's go to gathering resources and gather all of that. We'll speed up to max speed while the crew crack on because it's not too much of a too much of a job for them to do that. We're going to mine out all those things here. I think I've already set them up. And then we're going to head back to... 
mm, over there, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if we actually need to. Although I believe the crew now are not actually doing anything because of storage or the lack of storage. So let's place mm, a big storage there and unpause it. And yes, they will probably now exit the ship and go and do some more EVAs. Is that the case? A mm, bit more to get there, a bit more to get there. Some over there and, well... There we go. So, that is one of the fights. Let's head... Oh, we'll just head back to the main station, to be honest. There's no reason why we can't, and then we'll hand that in. So, we will go to Hail and Hail the station, and we will hand in that and receive the payment, which is probably going to give us enough, if we go to building here, to get the beam weapons. So, actually, no, we need to, we need to actually, you know, sort of research it first. It, it, it's generally a good idea. That's an interesting ship in the background there. I'll have a quick look at that in a moment. There we go. <clears throat> so we got the beam prism and... Oh yeah, I really like the look of that. What's that? Is that a shield generator? That's a shield generator there, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we'll go to building and this is where we're going to have to turn off the symmetry. Um, although, yes, we will turn off the symmetry. So we'll move this thing down to about here. Uh, this will move down as well and the front thruster I think we'll keep where it is for now. Corridor is going to connect all up like so and we need to get our beam weapon in. Now obviously doing this we will be... Ooh, we don't have nowhere near the <laughs> the amount of uh, the amount of money required so let's just do a bit of fighting then. So, yeah, we have 3,000. It's because of all the research and such, so that's why. So we'll do a couple more jobs here, uh, fighting this thing, and see how we get on, and then we'll put the beam weapons in. There we go. There's our hostile contact. It is a fugitive bounty, currently an unknown contact, but we'll head towards it. The problem is now that the ship is a little bit too wide, and actually, no, we've made it... It's not actually any wider, so the shield generator will hopefully protect us from that. Visual range, we are now in. And, oh, they've got nice weapons on the side with this laser blaster, but perilously, behind these armor wedges, they have their small reactor core. And, well, I'm hoping that if we simply focus on that reactor, we will be able to just... Yeah, yeah, they're taking considerable damage, and it's not going to last long. And it lasted about that long. So, over to gathering, and we'll gather all that as well. Obviously, we've got lots of resources that we will pick up. No repairing at all is required so let's just max speed this out while we come and store a lot of this again we're gonna go for more storage Ooh, we've got another target there but this is that's just a random enemy that's going about their business I don't like the fact that they are very close right recall everybody and spin the ship around we want to face the potential enemy because yeah as you can see, everything is offline. Lasers are online. Shield generator is powering up. We just need one, two, three more batteries. You can see the detail on the side there. One more should power up. We're now powered up. So if it decides to engage us, which I don't think it's... I don't know if it is going to plan to engage us. Yep, it's planning on engaging us. It, as soon as it come in visual range, it turned to face. So, well, we will target their weapon systems and... Hey, it's free scrap, right? <laughs> And their weapons are offline, so we could leave them alone. But well, we are. Are we the are we the goodies or the baddies? Hmm. Well, we write the history books. Boom. So let's go ahead and grab all of those again. Max speed this out, and hopefully we won't hear another dung dung noise <laughs> to say that we are being engaged. I've noticed that they cannot store any of this stuff anymore. We are just totally full. Um, let's rotate this around. Going to place in that and that. Uh, and again, it's just more... Um, good grief. Again, more people just randomly turning up. Look, we're just doing some cheeky salvage. It's just a bit of cheeky salvage. That's all we're doing. And, well, you know what? You know what? I'm just going to I'm just gonna go away. Yep, it's unknown contact. Uh, I think we'll just head over here to, to the, uh, the other mission. I noticed that the ship is... Considerably slower now. Oh, good grief. Let's uh, head around. We don't want to engage those. I wonder if those are going to engage. Hmm. That's hostile contact. And they're no longer on... No, they, they, they are actually there. Again, I don't know whether they're trying to find us. Or not. Mm, you know what? I'm going to head back to the station. <laughs> I'm going to head back to the station. And I'll, I'll let those... Uh, do whatever they need to do. 
So, hail the station. Receive payment. Fame is levelled up. And... What do we need to do now? We're going to do the beams. Iron beams and prisms. There it is. So you can... Iron beams are fixed direction. But we can place a prism and rotate the prism. And multiple beams can be combined to a single prism. Creating a powerful, larger, more powerful beam. Which is what we're after. So, we want a beam. Now, there's a prism, sorry. So, I'm just going to put a prism in there for now. A cheeky prism. Ah, we're just shy of the required for the ion emitter. But, what we can do is we can contact the station and sell some stuff. So, what don't we need? We've got... We have Hyperium. We'll sell all the Hyperium. We're not going to be, trans we're not going to be sort of jumping around. Enriched Uranium. Do we need that? Used to construct reactors in other parts. Mm, don't think so. So, we're trading over. It does take a while because of the EVA. Actually, we should probably just get closer to the station. And go back to building. And, well, we will get paid once everything's been transferred over. In fact, there we go. We've been paid. Okay, which means... The beam. So the beam will rotate and I'm going to place it there. So it's off to the side. Then what we can do is place this in here. Um, hmm. Okay. What I'll have to do then is do a bit of modifications. That can move down. That can move down. Corridor can go up to here. And then that. Followed by that. Aha! Right. So now we have the beam <laughs> that's um shooting that way. I mean, it is a bit. It's a bit strange, but it is what it is. So we now have a side weapon with a beam. Good. Let's see if this is absolutely useless or not. It's going to be a bit slow. It's very weird. It's got no armor to speak of. It also has <laughs> no shields on that side, which is. Ridiculous, and I'm guessing we are. Yep, yep, we are massively undercrewed and underpowered. But, um, well, let's see if this concept actually works. So, speed up to max speed of eight times because, well, we want to get somewhere in this video. Uh, <laughs> we just. Uh, the ship is so hideously slow because of the additional mass that we've um, accumulated. Good grief. So, there's three targets here, but only one of them is what we actually need to fight. Four targets. If we get engaged by them, we are not going to have a good time of that. So I'm hoping that we can just quickly sort of get in and get out. So visual range we are coming towards now. And pause. So we can see we've got their vessel here. I've targeted the standard cannon on the front. And this is our beam weapon. So the beam weapon... Oh yeah, there we go! So it fires into the crystal, and the crystal then just part targets them, and well, there's the beam. And it's gone. <laughs> Brilliant. But, you notice that we've got, because we're far too under crewed, we haven't got power on a lot of this, so we need more crew and we need more power. Okay. We can... We can hopefully deal with that. I'm noticing that this thing is running away, which is actually working out for me because we can still keep up. And sort of more importantly, we're heading away from the other enemies. Yeah, that's considerable damage. We are targeting their reactor. It's dropping resources constantly. But not firing the beam weapon. And there we go. They've gone. So, salvage all of that. We could go back for Lords of Salvage, but I'm not not really in any big hurry to do any of that. Good grief, the ship's lumbering around because of its size. See that? Thrusting back and forward. There's... Ooh. Yeah, it's sort of... When we go there, it sort of thrusts forward, then has to thrust back, and then thrust to the left. Yeah, it's just lumbering around. It's not a graceful shipper. I was going to say any more. I don't know if it ever was a graceful ship. But we have resources. And we're heading back to the station. So, we actually went well outside of our usual 
Like, well, that was the original flight path around there, but we went away from it. Okay, so we'll hand this in. And, well, we'll see what else we can get. Gonna hail. Accept that. So we've handed that in. And what is it that we need? Well, we'll repair the ship because there is some damage. And we need more crew and, indeed, some more power. Power-wise, we can't afford, but we can get a capacitor. We could put in a capacitor. Crew-wise, we probably want some more bunks. That's bad, though, because then we can't get around there. Why can't we place a door there? There's actually no door we can place. Aha! That will, that will suffice. So we can have more crew now. Which we, well, will get. So, over to the station. We will hail that. And we're going to get crew-wise... I'm just going to say, hire max crew. It's, there's a button. The, the button's there. It's easy to press. And, oh, look at that. Package distributor. Excellent. So, how do I want to build from here? Oh, we could put another beam in. Oh, we really could. Okay. <laughs> so, this beam's going to fire into that one, which will fire into that one, which then goes and, you know, shoots that way. Still got a problem with power. Hmm. We need 12k. We don't need anything. We've got beams. Shoot it, that's the ultimate power. Hmm. This is contact another station. We're going to pick that up. And the station is over here. Right? Max speed. Head over there. We can see <laughs> the Model S. And there is our ion beams. We need more crew. It recommends 23. And we need over twice the power. We need, we need a lot more power. I'm um, just going to bypass this target. I say target. Yeah, it's just a hostile that's going in front of us. This, this this ship is really really requiring more more thrusters. Um, are we able to get more thrusters? We really we just aren't. We've got nothing, absolutely nothing that we can use. But this guy we're going to have to engage because he's on a direct course towards us. And well, we'll target that. That's a bigger ship this time though. And remember, these might be able to beam, but we haven't got a shield there. Ooh. That looks a bit thicker than it was previous. That is... Ridiculous damage. <laughs> it's just carved the front of their ship completely off. I mean, we've taken damage. Loads of damage. But interesting now, though. See what's happened here. The ship, it's... it's not targeting the way we probably want to target. Aim the prism to that one. Because we want to combine them. Right. There we go. Let's just target the reactor. We've won the fight. And salvage all over the place. And there we go. So, I don't know if you saw what there we... Ooh, we actually have someone EVA'd. Yeah, we were able to target the beams. That's what we wanted. Let's repair all. But that is... You can see the damage we've suffered. It's considerable. Um, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to armor up. So armor is in here, I think. Yes, armor plate. And just put some armor across there just to protect us temporarily. In terms of power, we definitely need more. We need 10k. And we don't have enough enriched uranium. Alright. Let's get some more thrusters, maybe. Some thrusters here. On the back, perhaps. I'll move this one across. Put one. Two. Three. Again, it's going to require even more power. Hopefully, we'll actually be able to move the ship. 
Yes, building it not symmetrical is just... That's not something I like. So, are there, is there any scrap that we've left around here? See, I'm using... I'm heading back to the flight path there. No, no I don't think there is. Okay. Back to here, where we're originally heading towards. To contact the station. And... Hello there. Receive payment. Cool. A couple more fugitive bounties. There's a... Ooh, eliminate pirates. I accept that. And it's back over. Yeah, we are a lot faster. Now that we have these thrusters. What course is that guy on? Directly towards us, pretty much. Alright. I guess that's um, even more chances to apply our beam weapons. So, is this beam... Yes! So, that hits there, goes into that, then we get an even bigger beam. Which... Yeah, it's ridiculous. Whoa! Why, is it, why does it swing to the side? It loves swinging to the side there. So... Target weapons. Target that. It's as if the ship has decided, in, if, in its infinite wisdom... Spin it round. Whoa! Just randomly beamed into space there. And what on earth was that? We've lost the entire side. Wow. Okay. So we've lost the entire side. And we've got fire. I think we'll still win the fight. But only just. And there we go. Tag their reactor. And there they are. So, drop out of combat. Repair everything. So that's what's happened. That, that's what happens when the ship decides it's going to spin round. Yeah, okay. Let's just harvest all of this. There should be something in there. I'm hoping for a reactor fuel. Hmm. We need another shield generator, but then we need more of everything. I'm just concerned that it's uh, it, it's it's just it loves spinning around <laughs> and uh, having these two fire separately. I don't know if there were to override that. How we're we doing for gathering resources? We're doing okay. Just going to check out our power systems, and we need some more. Yeah, we need more enrich uranium, I think. Yeah, but we do have... Oh, we don't have the money. We will have the money once we've done this this job, though. That's now done. Let's head into our original target, which is... Well, this is one of them. And again, we're heading straight towards them. Oh, we can't take two. Hopefully, we can deal with one of them first. So, it's the same size of ship that we've just, just fought against. One of their weapons is gone. We have carved... Oh, almost into their reactor core. We've got them. We've got them. Brilliant. Okay. Um, I've paused it because I want to see... I want to see about collecting... All of that. Repair the boat. And they are... They're heading directly towards us. Yep, everyone get back from EVA. Turn the ship around, target their vessel, and they're stuck behind an asteroid. Okay. There's our beam, which has stopped firing, because we're out of power. And uh, the shield generator's out of power. The armor's taking it on the chin, but the shield generator's getting absolutely plastered. Right. Stand behind, right, get behind this asteroid, micromanage behind the asteroid now. Ooh. Right. Basically, get everything up and running. No, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back, go back. And also, we have people EVA'd, which we really need to get inside. Shields are up and running. Doesn't help, but we're not pointing towards the target, though. Shields up. Keep working behind the asteroid. As soon as we've got power to this beam, the beam weapons, 
Now we've got all crew back on board. This should work out right. Come from behind the asteroid. There's the beam. There's the beam. Target that. Disruptor. Undisruptor dead. Target the laser. Laser's gone. Target the other disruptor. And we're almost dead. We are almost dead. Come on, come on, come on. We've got them. <sighs> okay then. Repair the boat. <laughs> and gather salvage. So, what's happened there is that they took off the shield generator. Well, armor first, then the shield generator, and then they were hitting the cockpit. If that goes and we lose command of the ship, that's game over. That's game set and match. Alright. So, can we build more reactors? We have got more fuel. And we have got a lot of other resources that we are leaving. Let's let's go for some more storage. Oops, that's undo. And rotate that. There we go. So I'll gather all of that. I think we're all at. We have gathered that. Apparently there's another target over there. Why are we not moving? Oh, we are. There we go. And this is all the scrap from the previous fight, as well as parts of us, like our ship. <laughs> this is parts of our ship. So we'll just gather that. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Then go over here and gather all of that. Because again, this is probably parts of our ship. And once we've finished with the EVAs, we'll head back. Yeah, let's just head away. We don't want to be engaging that target if we can help it. There we go. Alright, the Model S. The model not symmetrical. Let us hail. Be a bit closer. Let's hail. And payment. So payment's been transferred. Power. Power, power, power. Reactor. That will be okay. Oh no. Yes, it's okay. These people can get out. So we've got more power. We definitely need more crew. Mm. There we go. And we go for more crew. I guess we could put bunks in. Could we put bunks along here? Potentially. Maybe. Put a bunk at the end there. It's a bit of a risky, <laughs> bit of a risky bunk. Okay, let's contact the station. Rescue, pa, rescue the station. Difficulty three. I'm gonna hire Max anyway. And can we build more beams? We can. Right. So armor goes there. Um, actually, we'll just remove these for now. Ah, oh, we need a bit more money. Can we sell something? I'm sure we. I'm sure there's something we've got to sell that we don't need. Um, selling. We don't need hyperfuel. We don't need all of that scrap. I don't think. Let's initiate the trade. And got construction. There's the money. Yes. And there we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's just admit this. This is ridiculous. But fun is being had. So, armor panels. Like that. Are in. And, well, let's try this in anger. Bounty. Go. Just here. So this is... <laughs> Look at the state of that. 
three ion beam emitters and then the prisms. The damage that that should be able to hit as an alpha strike should be immense. There's our target. We're heading towards. I'm not convinced this enemy is going to last long at all. Targeting their front cannon. Let's double check. There's the beam. Look at that! Look at the, po <laughs> the power of the beam! <laughs> and what's it cause damage wise? Oh, it's caused loads, but it's doing its old trick again. It's spinning round. No! Engage the target! There you go, so we've now got random misfires all over the place. I mean, we're still able to target. It's just it's very keen on not combining them. I'm going to have to look at that. Yeah, see that? It, it just goes on its side so all three can fire. We don't want that. We need to have that target this one, this target this one, and we need to lock that in, essentially. And now that one's spinning around, so it still should be a... Hells, bells. <laughs> I don't know if you saw there. It should still be an immensely powerful beam, but... Yeah. Why it's spinning around, I'm not too sure. But, there's a bit of salvage. We'll unpause it while it cracks on. Oh, we have someone... How many people are EVA'd? Why have we got 18 people EVA'd over there? Uh, I guess we have to go back? Were we not all transferred? Oh, there's just one person there. That's curious. Have we lost all the crew? No, we lost one. I don't know what that. Don't know what was up there. Anyway, head back here because it's still a bit of salvage. Still all of that. There we go. And we'll go and hand in. Yeah. So. The goal, the challenge, can we make a beamy ship? Yes, you can. Is it effective? Yes. Does it take a lot of damage? Yes. Uh, what are the fixes and solutions? I reckon... I reckon putting on a shield generator here and adding some more manoeuvring thrusters to make sure we can keep towards the enemy and figuring out basically telling telling these somehow to lock themselves forward so they always fire forward and the only one that's targeting is this front beam prism which like I say you can click on the part and you can yeah you can get the target so I've targeted that one that's targeted that one it should be set I think it's when we when it gets destroyed and rebuilt I may alter the, the settings either way we're gonna call it there for now that has been a bit of cosmetia and trying out the ion beam emitter slash ion beam prism combo it works <laughs> i've had fun with it and well if you have any suggestions for this design but also follow-ups what you would like to see in terms of builds or any challenges and if you just want to see more by all means let me know in the comments hope you have enjoyed the video thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings